I made this video to look at a different perspective, to consider the other side of a debate that seems long concluded. This video is not a defense of Peaches or an attack against the people who levied criticism against her. Instead, this video is made with the intention of looking at both sides of an argument, considering that there are always two sides of the story. In this video, I want to hear Peaches' side, so before you go straight to the dislike button, this video is just a viewpoint. I'm making this video because I feel it's important that you have all the information so you can make an informed judgement about everything claimed against Peaches. I feel whatever viewpoint you hold, you'll walk out of this video knowing more than you went into it with, which is always a benefit. However, if you're one of those who are scared of other opinions and will send hate to anyone who doesn't agree with you, go right ahead. This video is made with the intent of educating, not arguing. I got a lot of information from this video by speaking directly to many of the content creators involved including Creepshow, Peaches and so many more. And I also commissioned Peaches for sprites. That doesn't mean she has any control over this video. And at the end of the day, whatever viewpoint you hold on Peaches, I believe she shouldn't be cancelled because I do not believe she has done anything worth losing her whole channel and support over. And what she has done can be learned from for the future. I also intend to provide some well needed criticism to the many other creators who did not speak up when Peaches was being exposed or filtered down their defensive Peaches for the sake of saving face with other content creators. Those creators put their own reputation above the truth and I believe there's a conversation to be had there. As I hope you now know, there is a lot to understand and learn from the Peaches situation, so without further ado, let's delve into the Hopeless Peaches documentary. But before this video begins, I want to mention that I'm on my way to 25,000 subscribers. Sadly, I was held back from making this video because of my now resolved dispute with Prism A Luke. We finally talked in private and kinda sorted everything out, so now I can continue making the content I want to make and if you're new to this channel or didn't give me a chance before, make sure to consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turning on notifications so that I can achieve this insane milestone. I'd appreciate it a lot. Even if you don't stick around, I've also got a Twitter too, so if you want to check that out because my old one got suspended, I'd appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hopeless Peaches is a British artist and YouTuber who almost had 100,000 subscribers on her channel. She posted videos about art community drama, her personal life experiences and answering questions. This was until three months ago when a particular other drama hit its climax and the attention turned on Peaches. But before I go further, I believe it's in my best interest to discuss that particular drama and provide some context as to what happened. Toby is an artist with almost 40,000 subscribers. Toby makes content discussing her personal experiences with situations similar to Peaches and talks about drama from Twitter, YouTube and the general art community. This situation started because Toby called out a particular artist because they drew underage characters in their pornography. Toby labelled this person a pedophile, saying anyone that drew art in this way was a pedophile, which in itself is obviously not an extreme sentence. It's a belief that many people hold. The issue starts because Toby was then exposed for doing the exact same thing and by her own definition, basically being a pedophile. People dragged Toby for being a hypocrite, including one particular YouTuber, that being Prismate Luke. In Luke's video, he labels Toby a lot of things and although he makes his points poorly, he airs the sentiment that she's a hypocrite and essentially a pedophile. File. Which, although I wouldn't label Toby a pedophile for it, she did draw pornography of characters like Sailor Moon and there is a question to be had there. The issue people were highlighting is that she would be a pedophile by her own definition, not by the actual definition. But this isn't the part of Luke's video I want to discuss. Instead, I'd like to highlight what Luke says about Peaches in his videos on her. So what did Luke claim about Peaches? Well, Luke made two videos on Peaches, I'll go through these claims and discuss them, starting with the first video. Luke's first claim is that Peaches involves herself in a bunch of drama. This is based off of the fact that Peaches comments on a video about a drama to support a fellow content creator, Norni. I think it speaks for itself how little this point means, so I'll just skip over it. Luke also claims Peaches sympathy baits because she talks about taking mental health breaks, and this point can be broken down quite easily. Peaches has depression. Peaches also has medication. People have good days and bad days. Peaches probably just hadn't decided to actually take a break, was scared to take breaks or didn't actually end up taking those breaks because she felt better after taking medication. It's really ignorant to claim someone is sympathy baiting purely because they took a mental health break. It shows how little Luke actually looked into Peaches for his first video. And a point to note here is in the video, why is the Toby drama still going? Luke claims this is suicide baiting. 
not sympathy baiting like in his first video on Peaches. Whether this is an intentional change or not, it should be noted that this changes the narrative of his claims in his first video. Luke then claims that Peaches made a bunch of serious tweets about her mental health, noting her tweet reading, I'm done, goodbye. Luke highlights this tweet and describes it across his videos as suicide baiting, which isn't what suicide baiting is. She never once claims in this tweet she's going to take her life. Obviously, that was what the tweet was referring to, Peaches has said as much herself, but it's very clear Peaches was and is mentally unstable. She was obviously struggling at the time with her mental health, and she has been since. I've spoke to Peaches, and I hate to discuss this, however, Peaches even recently attempted to overdose. Peaches isn't in a good headspace, and do you want to know something that you should never do when someone is in a bad headspace? Make an expose video on them, when they can't defend themselves. Peaches shouldn't have posted this tweet but that's not a criticism of her. She was having a breakdown. People don't think logically when they're having a breakdown, and most people would post something publicly to tell their fans, as has been seen with many high-profile creators taking their lives, like the late and loved Etika, and more recently of Apollo Legend. Don't attack people when they're down, it'll only spur themselves to cause more harm. Luke then claims Peaches lied about him, that apparently what she had to say turned from an apology to an attack at Luke. This is such a disingenuous way to explain and frame this. Peaches apologised for what she felt guilty for, and criticised you for what you did wrong, would be the correct way to frame Peaches' actions. Luke always cuts context to change the story, and that can be seen here too. Luke then uses a screenshot from Peaches talking about how people were attacking her because she didn't die, which was a poor way of wording it from Peaches, but Luke claims she is lying about what he said in his video, and I feel he completely misunderstands what she's trying to say here. Peaches is saying that because she didn't go through with taking her life, she's being called a suicide baiter, and Peaches is absolutely correct. Look at all the messages she gets sent daily. It's clear that Peaches has been labelled a suicide baiter, even from yourself. The second screenshot Luke uses to show Peaches talking about people, not even claiming it was Luke, reading, all these bigger channels seem to agree that I'm a scumbag because I didn't die, and Spock says this well in his video, this is self-deprecating, Luke. She's criticising herself, and she's blaming herself for not dying. She believes she wouldn't be getting this hate, and would be better off dead. Peaches has said so herself on multiple occasions. Luke very clearly misunderstands what she's saying. Luke then leaks DMs between him and Peaches, claiming she was attacking him, which is not the case at all. She provides him more context on the situation, and critiques his coverage, plain and simple. Luke also claims she threatened him with a video, like, what? What is your point, Luke? She said she would make a video responding to the claims you made against her. That's the logical thing for someone to do. If anything, it comes across like she's warning you. It's a good thing to remember here that Peaches even states she would rather this be in DMs. And by that same conclusion, didn't you threaten me when you said you wouldn't take down your videos about me unless I did everything you asked? Or... Is it different when you do it, Luke? Luke then says Peaches claims he portrayed her as gross, once again twisting her words, because in his own screenshot, Peaches says his portrayal of her was quite gross, which is true. Luke also says Peaches claims he said she didn't have a mental illness, once again misunderstanding that the point she was making is that he claimed she was a suicide baiter when she showed herself to be on medication, and you should never ever call someone a suicide baiter unless you have the evidence to actually prove so. Despite Luke's disclaimers that he does believe she has a mental health issue, it is undermined by simultaneously calling a suicide attempt baiting, which heavily implies you believe it to not be truthful, especially coupled with how it is painted as a form of defence against criticism. I think it's really immature of Luke to publicly share a DM that did not need to be brought up in a video just to try and make Peaches look worse, purely because, as he said, she was working on a video about him. Which is exactly the same thing Luke tried to do to me, literally to the letter. I said I was making a video criticising him, and the next day he'd started digging for dirt. These DMs did not need to be mentioned at all, it was a private argument between you two. It's really childish of Luke to show an argument and Peaches sharing her thoughts privately and then acting like Peaches was attacking him, when at that point, Peaches hadn't even mentioned his name publicly. Luke then mentions Peaches contacting him privately again, when she quite harshly claims he gives mental health a bad stigma, and he claims that she's the one always using it for pity, when Peaches actually does have mental health issues that affect her every day and change how she perceives the world. When Luke claims she's overblowing criticism, that's how he views it. 
it's so much different when you're in a bad headspace and seeing any hate makes you think everyone is turning on you. But Luke knows this because he's done the same thing with me in the past when I spoke to him about a drama I was in. He knew how much it was affecting me and I apparently wasn't overblowing it back then. So how is Peaches overblowing it when she gets name dropped and called out in a video with 200,000 views? Luke then brings up Peach's experiences with other people, claiming that she has a history of screwing other people over, and Luke then brings up Creepshow Art's story, which, may I just say, really doesn't show much evidence of any of the claims Creepshow makes. I don't get why Luke would just believe every word said about Peach's, but okay. Luke, however, does put Creepshow Art's video with evidence in the description later down the line. All this does show is a level of haste and a lack of research on your part, which further solidifies that this video was made as a preemptive strike against any video Peaches would make as a response. It is to be noted that in later videos, Shannon has still yet to provide screenshots of Peaches doing as she claims in the video. Luke then brings up Creepshow's experiences with Peaches, where Creepshow claims that because a collaboration did poorly, Peaches got mad at Creepshow, which is simply untrue. I looked over the DMs with Creepshow and Peaches, and if you look at them, Peaches is blaming herself for how poorly the video did, basically saying she doesn't want to cause Creepshow to have more poorly performing videos. Peaches is once again self-deprecating. This is a pattern of behavior that seems quite prominent, which can cause issues. However, considering the bond Shannon expresses they had, it is harder to overlook this as being a miscommunication than with Luke who may not be understanding of this type of behavior. Peaches does make a claim about Daft Pina here. Daft Pina claims that Creepshow's video did poorly because it was basically Peaches video on Creepshow's channel. Creepshow also claims that Peaches criticized Creepshow's video on Jacqueline Hill, a video that Creepshow recognizes isn't the best, and Peaches soft blocked her, which is definitely a rude thing to do to a friend. However, I don't blame her for it. You don't have to be friends with someone. And when Creepshow claims Peaches started talking bad about her, the evidence is very lackluster. Peaches makes vague tweets not even mentioning Creepshow. Luke claims Peaches makes vague tweets about Creepshow out of spite, showing Peaches replying to VidCon talking about inspirational female creators, saying, now isn't that a sore topic? Like, what kind of relevance does this have to anything? Creepshow also claims that Peaches spoke to other creators venting about her experiences with Creepshow, which, while rude and disrespectful, isn't something Creepshow has the right to say Peaches is in the wrong for doing. Peaches doesn't have to like you or talk positively about you. She's allowed to talk about her experiences with you, positive or negative. Can we not make that into a floor of Peaches? Everybody vents about their experiences with a friend. That happens and everybody falls out in a friendship and then they normally end up recuperating. I mean, me and you used to be friends, Luke, till I criticized you and you made a video exposing me. So do you have a right to criticize Peaches for doing the same thing you did? I mean, what you did to me was arguably multiple times worse. Also, on that whole topic of friends usually talking it out with each other, Peaches attempted to do so after Shannon's addressing my faults video. She tried to speak to Shannon and resolve everything, or at least explain her side, apologizing and trying to solve their disagreements that doesn't ever get mentioned again by Creepshow or anyone else. Actually, Creepshow told me in emails and said publicly that neither she or Camilla ever got an apology from Peaches in the first place. That is an outright lie because Camilla received three apologies from Peaches, two publicly and one privately, but I'll discuss that later. Creepshow also did get an apology, which I'll discuss in the criticism section. Luke also claims Peaches went around slandering Creepshow when Creepshow was just a small channel, ignoring the fact that Creepshow literally had more subscribers than Peaches. This is less malicious lying and more miscommunication between Luke and Shannon, However, considering that they were in close contact, it should have been an error ironed out before the final video. At the time of Shannon and Peach's disagreement in March, Shannon was at 300,000 subscribers and Peach's was at 30k. Luke also twists this into Peach's talking behind Creepshow's back about her and slandering her when Creepshow didn't know. Like most people don't know when someone is discussing their issues with them with other people. People don't have to tell you everything they dislike about you and they're allowed to talk to others about their issues with you. That's pretty normal. Well, now I'd like to go to Luke's second video and discuss that, because I believe there's a lot more to discuss here, including Camilla's claims, and I'll skip over everything previously mentioned, and just mention the significant points I have arguments to respond with. Firstly, Luke claims Peaches continued to lie about him after his first video. He then provides a screenshot of Peaches actually clarifying on what was said, saying that Creepshow never screamed at her, stating that she never went at Creepshow for her reputation, which should be obvious given Peaches didn't want to damage Creepshow's numbers by collaborating again. It's clear Peaches didn't care about numbers. 
It can be further proven of this as, despite the continued narrative of Peaches using people for views, in the screenshots provided it was Shannon who came to the idea of airing Peaches' video on her channel. And Peaches declined clarifying that Luke never said he wanted Peaches to die, and saying that she didn't believe Shannon had intentionally twisted things or done anything actually bad. Where is the lie that Luke is claiming was said here? This feels like Peaches just pointing out the mistakes in what Luke claimed about her. Now, I'm going to completely switch focus here, from Luke's video, because it's bad, directly to the claims made by Camilla about Peaches. Camilla claims that Peaches had lied about her, claiming that Peaches and Camilla had worked on a collaboration art piece together, and when Camilla sold said piece, Peaches very quickly went after Camilla, claiming Camilla was using her to sell artwork without consent, and that Peaches already knew said art piece would be sold. Camilla also claims Peaches made several threads dogging her in the art community, and that Peaches has said she was never credited in said piece. I'll go through these point by point. Camilla claims that she had consent to sell this piece. She did not. Her and Peaches had only briefly even discussed the prospect of selling said piece and had never gone into any detail about this. This seems like a misunderstanding. However, Camilla should know this, but she refuses to acknowledge that and instead tries to blame Peaches. So Camilla lied here. There's further evidence to show Peaches had told this point of view to Camilla, so it should not have been a point that she just didn't consider. Camilla talks about the thread Peaches made calling her out, like Peaches was in the wrong for doing so, when, as mentioned, Camilla did sell Peaches artwork without consent, which she can be criticised for. Maybe Peaches shouldn't have made her thread? However, Peaches was a small artist who'd never worked with a bigger artist before, and she had a lot of people telling her they experienced similar things, so Peaches spoke out. She had a right to speak out, and if Camilla had an issue with what was said, she should have talked it out with Peaches in private. Peaches did later apologise for how she handled this situation, and how she falsely claimed she wasn't credited. Peaches apologised three times actually, for everything said about her. However, on the first apology, Camilla responds, You misspelled, sorry for lying about you selling posters and lying about you not crediting me, surely this will clear up all the lies you've made to defame my name. Which is a very insane contrast to Camilla's new response to Peaches' public apology, where she says that no one is in any position to deny someone's apologies just to accept them and move on. Which is an incredible change from public to private. It's clear Camilla is playing a very manipulative game here, to look good for the public, while treating Peaches extremely poorly. What changed that made this apology so much different from the previous one, and why is it now a fine apology, and nobody has the right to deny it, when before, Camilla was denying Peaches' apology? I genuinely believe Camilla is acting very manipulative here, and I wouldn't be surprised if people like Camilla go off on me now, purely for saying my thoughts on that. Camilla finally makes the claim that Peaches bullied her to the point of needing hospitalisation. Two issues here, so I'll break it down. Camilla has not shown any proof of this bullying taking place, Peaches apologised publicly twice for her initial Lamino post on Camilla, and then everything else is hearsay. Camilla shows one screenshot of bullying, however, there is a clear issue. You can't see who is being named. Oh, except if you read the bottom. It was more self-deprecative humour. It was aimed at Peaches herself. There are numerous accounts of Camilla stirring up drama and harassment towards Peaches back in 2018, not the other way around. There are instances of Camilla discouraging people to work with Peaches, calling her a pathological liar, a bad artist, and even claims she will sue them. There are more instances of Camilla berating Peaches' mental health, as well as even her moderators publicly wishing death upon her. Despite Camilla's claim that Peaches sent her to hospital with no evidence of any bullying, Camilla also claims Peaches used her mental health against her, despite no evidence of this. Luke's initial claim on Peaches was that she would use her mental health as a shield against criticism, despite the dates of the criticism to the mental breakdown not lining up. However, in this situation, Luke pulls a 180 and supports someone actively blaming a breakdown on a person. Considering in my own drama, Luke would claim I pushed someone into being suicidal, he seems to be consistently inconsistent. But now I'll let Just a Robot, or Jar, explain how Luke's claims can affect others and his thoughts on this whole situation. So, take it away. I said sorry multiple times. I avoided saying sorry I'm but. People wanted me to say sorry directly to Kai and Omnia, so I did in a video. Literally the next day, Prismate Luke made another video on me. People want me to move on, but it's pretty hard when everybody else can talk about me, but I can't do squat. I'm tired of people asking me to apologize when I already have. While Prismate Luke hasn't apologized for anything he has done to Harley, me, Hopeless Peaches, or anyone else he has lied about. Prismate Luke's channel is not about helping others improve, or bringing new evidence to the table. 
It's all about making someone look worse than they really are, and taking the least charitable interpretation possible. But he's always talking about someone who's either really hated or has done a lot of bad things. So no one questions him on it. And if you do question him on it, well, you've seen what happened during the Toby situation. While mine and Nani's videos weren't really that great, it gave Luke no right to lie about me, and especially no right to lie about Nani, making her look like she was defending Toby and excusing all of her actions. We've seen what happened during the Lexit situation, where Harley and Just Stop just wanted to look into it deeper than Prismate Luke did. And because they both questioned him, he made them look like they were defending Lexit and excusing her actions. So he's going to try to mislead people into thinking that this video is a defense of Hopeless Peaches that excuses all of her actions. You have lied about me saying I said the Confederate flag wasn't racist when I never once said that. You have lied about me saying I've said the hard RN word multiple times in multiple videos, even though I think I've said it like, in one or two videos. You said my friend's avatar, Professor Dreadlock, and yeah, it's Professor Dreadlock, not Professor Dreadlocks, which a lot of people are saying, was just a black-faced version of myself. And you said I claimed that my black avatar was literally me in blackface. Now, I don't believe I said that that's literally me in blackface. But you need to look up what blackface is. Putting on black makeup is blackface. Having a black avatar with exaggerated black features is blackface. This avatar is not fucking blackface. You claim that I said that black people treat gay people the worst when I never once said that. I just said there's a lot of homophobia in the black community that we almost never talk about. Can I be culturally insensitive sometimes? Sure. But if you go off the definition of racism, I'm not racist. I don't discriminate against people and I don't believe there's a biological difference between the races unless it has to do with getting sunburned. But I'm pretty sure that's a biological fact. You claimed I ran to my YouTube friends for help, like Joshua Montag. You'll talk about him, but you'll ignore my other two editors who explain the whole black Spongebob thing. Which is a black Spongebob and is not blackface Spongebob. It doesn't have exaggerated black features, it's just black. I didn't ask Joshua to insert himself into my videos, he does it himself. He did ask for permission, and I said yes, but I never ran to him and asked him for help. Which doesn't even make sense, why would I ask a channel way, way smaller than me for help? Is it because you later did that yourself, when you ran to Harley's friend for help? And yes, he did admit that you came to him first. You didn't want to look like a child abuser fighting a 16-year-old, so you got someone else to help you. Then you claimed that Harley and Braxton were child abusers. I thought 16-year-olds were kids and not teens now. I'm tired of people thinking that Luke is just making stupid mistakes. I'm pretty sure he's doing it on purpose. If he was making stupid mistakes, he would try to do everything in his power to correct it as soon as possible. But he's not doing that. How hard would it be to make a community post correcting his misinformation about Harley and Just Stop, and then removing the two videos he made about Harley, or at least leaving a pinned comment under them? He puts in no effort at all whatsoever because he's lying. I would like to go over more of the things Prismate Luke has gotten wrong, but if I did that, we would be here all day. The only advice I can give to anyone who wants to make a video on Luke is this. Don't announce it. Because we've seen what happened with Harley and Hopeless Peaches. He'll do what he can to poison the well. If you're going to make a video on Prismate Luke, just do it. Don't announce it. Thanks for coming on Jar. Make sure to check out Jar below. Now. Just quickly, I want to segue into something that happened very recently between me and Creepshow Art. I've been speaking to Creepshow in private, though I think it's important I say this in public as well. I am incredibly sorry for the message shared by lovely Lena in my server. In my server, a message was shared by a person which said they hoped Creepshow Art would get COVID, and by extension die of said disease. This was a very disgusting message shared in my server. And although I do not moderate my server and was asleep at the time of the message being sent, I feel I owe Creepshow a genuine apology. This message was incredibly hateful and toxic, and should have never been shared in my server. That's not what my server is for, and the person who posted this message has been banned. I'm sorry. Now I want to discuss what I spoke to Creepshow about in DMs. 
Within this discussion, I mentioned the fact that Camilla had received an apology, and that Creepshow's claim she had not was in fact a lie, to which Creepshow responded saying she did not know that, which I personally don't believe unless Camilla didn't tell her, but Creepshow definitely knew she got apologised to, so I feel it's disingenuous for her to say in a newest video that she never got an apology. I also think it's important to highlight that the point of commentary is to do research and present a case, and Shannon seems to have not separated her own personal feelings from commentary in this case. We also discussed an account of sharing hateful messages about Peaches on Twitter, calling her racist, a suicide baiter, and the like, to which Shannon publicly denounced this account and they deleted their account soon thereafter, so I wanted to be transparent and give credit to Shannon for helping out with that and stopping that harassment from being sent to Peaches. I also hope that in the future me and Shannon can continue to talk, I know this video is quite harsh in its criticism, however most of the creators involved are creators I look up to, so I wanted to give them criticism I feel they deserve to hear, so that if they are genuine people, they can learn and improve. I don't want to force them to respond, I just hope they do actually improve from what I've highlighted, so I don't want people to send them hate. Okay, now I want to discuss the recent apologies from Peaches towards Creepshow, Omnia, Camilla and Luke, where Peaches says that she does feel responsible and apologetic for what happened. The second thread is where things I want to discuss are said. This thread reads like a breakdown. Peaches blames herself for everything, even when she wasn't responsible. She heavily self-deprecates, blaming herself for everything that happened and calling herself a terrible person. This thread highlights very clearly how mentally unstable Peaches is. She genuinely needs to look after herself. But this drama would do this to anyone. Huge creators sending hundreds of thousands of people after you sounds traumatic. Not that I would know or anything. Oh wait, as someone who experienced what Peaches experienced, I can tell you firsthand how awful it is. The amount of pressure, the constant shaking, and I only experienced it for a day before people changed to my side. Peaches has spent the last three months constantly receiving the same hate and pressure while everyone still thinks her to be a racist, a villain, an attacker, a terrible friend, a liar, a fraud, an art scammer, and a scumbag. When she's very obviously not racist, a villain, or barely any of the other claims really, she's just a person that's made mistakes. I feel awful for Peaches. I mean, this situation has almost cost her her life multiple times now and has put her out of a job that was going to pay for her to get a new house. The hate genuinely needs to stop and Peaches genuinely needs to speak to professionals and focus on improving herself. YouTube is a platform to express yourself, vent your thoughts and escape from the stress of the real world. When that same platform filled with all your fans and love turns into a weapon used against you to attack you every day, it can be traumatising. And I hope Peaches, now she's apologised, is allowed a second chance to try and do YouTube again. Creepshow believes she can do it and I believe nothing she's done is genuinely worth cancelling her over. I think Peaches can return, make more videos and get her platform back, so please don't attack Peaches. Okay, now I want to provide some well needed criticism to the people who I feel deserve it, so that they can improve and learn a lesson from this situation. Spockta is a content creator who covered this situation and the way he handled it genuinely angers me. In DMs with Peaches, he discusses how the evidence she provides him completely changes the narrative, then continues to make his video where he says in DMs with her that his video misses the mark and doesn't defend her at all, where he says that he has to go after her for the sake of PR. And I want to pose the question to you Spockta, if you're in commentary not to discuss your own thoughts on something, but to provide the most PR appropriate response, maybe you should reconsider your reasons for being in commentary. I'm here a small channel going against tons of huge creators with hundreds of thousands of subscribers speaking my mind. I know someone with a platform as large as you can do the same, but you haven't. It seems you genuinely don't care about doing the right thing in commentary. You've got comfortable just sitting by the sidelines and saying the most popular opinion so that you can coast off free views and subscribers, which is unacceptable when you're handling situations that affect people's real livelihoods. The fact you claim so heavily in your video that you were trying to humanize her while behind the scenes are doing the exact opposite comes across as you playing the role without acting the part. I hope you learned from this. I used to look up to you. I no longer do. Spockter, as the ghost of Christmas future, my prediction almost came true. But you weren't too lazy to help. You cared too much about PR to help. You're just like Ebenezer Scrooge. But replace Tiny Tim with hopeless peaches. Omnia. Your coverage of the Peaches situation was interesting and I genuinely don't have the time to speak on your videos, 
The one thing I will speak on, however, is something I've already mentioned to you publicly in the past, to which you responded with a, someone else did it, so it's okay if I do, argument. Like, if someone else jumped off the cliff, you'd do the exact same thing. You used Peach's thumbnail from her grooming video for your thumbnail, which either indirectly or directly has sent her hate from people who looked at said thumbnail and proceeded to put scrutiny on the truth of her grooming video. And you still haven't denounced said beliefs. You should change this thumbnail. It's firstly very disrespectful to use a thumbnail from such a traumatizing video for your own video, but secondly, you know the harm it's causing and don't care. This seems very disingenuous and malicious and I'd appreciate if you changed it. I also think it relevant to mention the fact you used a screenshot from Carmen's script taken from Junkie, who betrayed the trust of Carmen and shared the screenshot without consent, and instead of looking for more context into this, you decided to share it as is and accuse Peaches of working on script and videos against you, when all this screenshot showed was one edit from Peaches, a grammar correction, which was, according to Carmen's testimony, the only edit she made. You have not addressed this publicly, and you have not corrected this claim. I would appreciate if you did so. Luke. You rush to making videos with lacklustre evidence and twist points to match your narrative frequently. Focus on quality, not quantity, and make sure the points you make are backed up with facts and evidence. Don't just say everything like it's a fact when you don't have the evidence to prove it. Creepshow, you and Peaches had a falling out, which could have been recovered from, and you and Peaches have recently talked everything out. I hope for the future that you don't just jump on videos about friends purely because they criticised you, don't want to talk to you anymore, or talked about you behind your back. It feels like petty mean girls drama, and it feels incredibly immature. The fact you have denounced Toby as a credible source, yet have used only her as a source for this claim, also comes across as if your videos were made out of anger, not genuine concern. I also feel like your approach to Carmen in your newest video, after he attempted to speak to you and talk with you, is highly petty. You declined his request to talk to you, and threw out allegations without any care for other evidence. You did the same thing to Jar too. It's childish. You're an adult, you should act like one. Camilla, you and Peaches had a misunderstanding that I don't think either of you were responsible for. Peaches believed you did it intentionally, you believed you had permission, it was a mistake. But you represent Peaches like she did it intentionally and have been shown to have apparently harassed her for this. For the future, I'd say you should consider your own actions and the other side before you rush to posting something. Though, I guess the same thing could be said about Peaches. To the general community, I believe you all rushed way too quickly into believing everything your favourite creator said, whether they had proof or not, and went at Peaches way too hard. I mean, look at these messages and comments she's still receiving to this day. For the future, please think for yourselves and don't rush to attacking someone. Videos are made to criticise someone, not to send them hate. The way the general audience has acted in this situation makes me scared for the next person falsely accused of something, just like with the Salazzo situation. Wait to hear the other side. And finally, Peaches. You need to accept responsibility for what you did actually do, you need to stop apologising for everything without changing and learning from said apology, and you need to stop posting about this and leave it in the past now. You're dwelling on a situation that should have ended weeks ago. You keep reviving this situation by talking about it and responding to comments and questions around it. Simply just stop talking about it and it'll disappear. Talking about it more will only spur more videos about it. Everyone is in the wrong in this situation, that does include you. You should recognise that when you say your apologies. Look at what you have actually done, and not do the same things again. I've said a lot of criticism to you in private, but I wanted to put some here too. Now, just as a disclaimer before I end this video, I want to make it clear as I said in the start, this video is not an attack. Not in the slightest. Nor is it a call out, exposed video or whatever else. As I said, people shouldn't be afraid of other people's opinions and perspectives. I hope that I've at least added more context to this situation, and I hope that the criticism I have levied against these creators will allow them to improve. I've followed some of these creators from the start, and I want them to improve themselves. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, I appreciate the help from Just a Robot, it means a lot. I was afraid to make this video, so thank you for watching, and I appreciate him for helping. I hope you have learned a lot, and I hope maybe you'll give Peaches another chance, as I don't believe this should be the end for her channel. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to consider subscribing. As I said, I'm on my way to 25,000 subscribers, which is a quarter of 100,000 at this point. It's insane that I've already hit 10k subscribers. It means so much that you could give such an incredible change to my channel in less than a year. So if you're not subscribed already, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace, dudes. <laughs> I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with
Let me, 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 let me,